This should be a really good featurette for me, because again, like I said previously when I covered the first trailer for Mortal Kombat, I don't know the next thing about this game other than it's an extremely violent franchise. Pretty much all I've seen is, you know, the... Well, I've seen a couple characters from, like, the Injustice games, because they had a couple that came in, like, I think Scorpion was one. Is it Scorpion? Is that his name? I don't know exactly. It's, it's whatever the golden one is. Um, and then there's an Ice character, and then I know uh, a Raiden is the other one, the Lightning and whatnot. They have cool looks, um, but that's all I know, other than, again, watching very, 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 very... And I understand this is an appeal to the project for a lot of people. I don't understand why, because really, it's like, it's just so gross, but the fatality sequences... I can't even sit through them, because they're just so bad to stomach. I hope they're a little more audience friendly in terms of newcomers were like i'm not exactly a big blooded gore person hey i don't play the games for that reason i am gonna check out the games one day um on this channel i i never looked at the original i'm gonna give it a try to better understand maybe if there's a little more nuance to it than just hey we're stabbing people and you know, ripping people's guts out and whatnot it's so hard to watch but I think on the first trailer, this film did show a lot of promise. I liked a lot of the action sequences and the way the last scene was shot too, especially with the use of that blood blade. I really liked I really liked how that scene was orchestrated. So let's take a minute to meet some more of the characters. And, and this will give me an opportunity to better familiarize myself again as a newcomer to this whole franchise in a way that I can better understand what exactly is the point of Mortal Kombat beyond just, let's kill people. As <laughs> always, so we're going to watch this first. And we're going to talk about it more and make a dense use of the video together. I mean, I like Injustice and it's a very similar game play style but injustice is like nowhere near the level of blood and gore that mortal kombat is i don't think i can sit for this one not be a little squeamish all right here we go throughout history different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament that dragon marking i think it's and the cgi looks great too to fight for something known as mortal kombat I've always talked about respecting the material and respecting the fans. They all deserve to see their beloved characters elevated to this cinematic height. Well, I, I can appreciate, I'm sure, really the devotion for, even though I've not been a fan, experience that we haven't seen before. a lot of people, I'm sure, are like, oh, this is in good dramatic, hands. Dramatic, but violent tale. What is Plus, the so location shots are absolutely about beautiful. Mortal Kombat is how expansive the story is. Yeah, the CGI looks great across the board. We have all the great characters that the fans love. I'm Sonya. Name's Jax. That's Kano. I'm Liu Kang. Kung Lao. Lord Raiden. Scorpion. I think Raiden's my favorite in terms of look. The interesting thing Sub-Zero, about that was the name of them, I forgot. Is that you have to walk this line of being larger than life, but also making that person real. There's actually rich emotional life behind every single character. She looks kind of creepy. Like, she looks nice from real life. <laughs> be authentic. You need actors who can perform the actual movements and stunts. It's mind-blowing what they do. And I think that fight element that has always been in the game can be brought to life on the screen. It is kind of cool to see all these like CG, martial arts type sequences. No matter how many of my the choreography is spectacular, at least I think from the trailers. We will that could change are. in the movie, but looks good from what we're showing so far. I've always believed that something elegant and beautiful can cohabitate with brutal and primal. Well, you use all those terms, it's going to sound like I'm sure audience, it's going to be a brutal watch. Realism and connectivity to this world. The first time that I started seeing all of these guys in costume, and I was blown away. They've completely brought all of these characters to life. This is more than just seeing a movie produced. This is seeing something that I've been passionate about my whole life finally come to the screen. I love working on this kind of international project. It really represents the Mortal Kombat world. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's very it faithful to the original presentation. The that weapon's really and cool, a by new the way. Don't be fooled that it's just a game. It's more than that. It's cinematic, it's beautiful, there's heart and there's emotion. All those ingredients together, it should be a fun, powerful ride. So enjoy. So I'm sure it'll be a fun ride for Mortal Kombat fans. And you know, fans of intense action sequences. 
and martial arts combat, which, you know, I'm really all those things. And in part, I understand this is Hollywood's newest attempt at trying to bring life to the um, the video game adaptations. They've never been successful in this regard. I, well, not true. Sometimes they have. It depends, again, on the movie. But in this one in particular, um, it looks like, again, it's got a lot of promise. I'm sure there's a high... Well, obviously, there's a high budget put in for all the CGI and the brilliant sequences they come up with. And, you know, the costume variety. But this has been a long-running thing that Hollywood's been trying to do with these video game adaptations. And in some cases, it's flopped tremendously. I understand some of the previous Mortal Kombat films have been looked at with that particular lens. So we'll see if there's any improvement on this front. But I think that did give a better look in terms of um, bringing in some of the newbies like me who are completely unfamiliar with the video game. But we do love Warner Brothers movies. And we love the fact that there's all these same-day releases. That is a promising note, you know, to bring me in so I can, you know, test the film for myself. I'll have to see, but I think it's got serious potential. What do you guys think about Mortal Kombat? Well, at this point, it's been out. Um, for those of you who have seen it, because I'm covering this a bit late, what did you think of the film? Did it meet your expectations, or was it another one of those video game adaptations <laughs> that really doesn't take off? Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Don't forget to look at stuff with like and that bell. And until we get to look at more um, Warner Brothers trailers for new upcoming same-day releases on HBO Max and theaters, or whatever film we get to watch over next for the first time, I'll see you guys at that point. But for now, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves, your fellow man. God bless, and peace.